Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome in to Carolina Originals. It's a show that puts a spotlight on the musicians from North and South Carolina, and tonight we've had our fifth guitar pool on the Hometown Hodges Facebook page and just got through recording that, and we have some great guitarists on stage with us here tonight, and it's brought to you in part by our friends at Custom Audio and Lighting. Join them on their Facebook page and check out all the different shows and all that uh, they can do for you when we're able to get back and do those shows uh, because of the virus and all. We are doing pretty much indoor production right now with Hometown Hodges, but everybody hopes to get back out and play some music. So let's just get right in there with it. Fellas, if you would, introduce yourself. Bob, if you would start out and come this way. Hey, I'm Bob Boatwright. I'm from Greenwood. David Stumbo from Greenwood. I'm Jake Bartley from Mars. I'm Matt Mays from Brevard, North Carolina. I'm Justin Corley from Saluda. Glad to have you fellows here tonight. You meshed tonight, I can tell you, on your music. Everything just kind of meshed together. Very soothing in a way, and we've had a lot of great comments on the Facebook page. So, uh, again, thank you for your performance. And, and do hit that virtual tip jar on Hometown Hodges and help these fellows out as well because oh, I know they want to get back out and play. Jupiter Coyote, I didn't get to interview you guys when you played last time. You played like till midnight, and I wasn't able to get an interview in because you had to get back home. But uh, you've been recording and been in doing shows 30-plus years, correct? Mm -hmm. And you're out of North Carolina, you're right? Well, half the guys in Georgia and half of us in North Carolina. Okay, well, you get to be on Carolina Originals because part <laughs> of you is from North Carolina. Yeah. But uh, – Enjoyed your music tonight, especially hearing this in the guitar breakdown. What's the two guitars you're playing tonight? What what kind are they? What brand? The one is a custom made Gidjo, the one I broke the string on there at the end. Yeah. That's actually an electric banjo with a strat style body and a banjo neck on it. I see. And the other old acoustic is a Takamini EF three forty one that I've had for thirty two years. Oh, it just kind of fits your hand perfect, huh? Yeah, I've had about three or four fret jobs on it. <laughs> <laughs> Plenty of repairs I'm about to wear a hole on top of it. So, it's, you know, it's Takamini. Okay, nice, very nice. Uh, Jake, what kind of guitar are you playing over there? I'm playing a Taylor 510 uh, Cutaway Electric, and it is very special to me because uh, my, it was my first real guitar I got, and my dad gave it to me, and it was uh, stolen not long ago, and then from the good help of the Greenwood Police Department, they got it back for me, and very grateful to have it. it is, uh, it's a special piece in my uh, arsenal. Yes, very special, I'm sure. Yep. Yeah, and I saw that um, yep. incident. Yeah, it was, cra it was crazy. It was a, uh, I call it a crime of opportunity because I actually left it sitting out and somebody came by and picked it up, but through some uh, some some good hard work, they got it back to me, so I'm very grateful. I imagine so, but yep. yeah. I'll just ask everybody, you know, what kind of guitar you play? I have playing a Fender, it's an old 1982 Fender, a good friend of mine, Steve Eason in, uh, in Columbia, back when I lived there several years back, sold it to me. He had bought it, bought two of these guitars back in the early 80s when they were produced. It's back before I think Fender bought out Guild and started making their, that kind of became their high-end uh, acoustic brand. So it's a just a full-bodied guitar that he let me borrow it one time and I played it and he's really a bass Wow. guy so he didn't play it much and asked him if he'd sell it to me and he did so i've been playing it ever since it's you, a, make, you make it sound like a good beer <laughs> hey man it's full bodied full bodied, bodied and gets sweeter with time <laughs> <laughs> bob what was that you were playing down there i play a epiphone dot and a, a little custom amp i've had it maybe about 10 years i've played it a bunch it's all rusty and sweaty and nasty <laughs> and you know it's been but the tips and uh, requests go hand in hand still, correct? <laughs> Tell me what kind of guitar you play. Well, I play, uh, it's like a 2013 Fender Siren. It's black with a pearl pit guard. And I call her Black Betty. And by the way, my love life's looking right now. I think that's the only woman I'll ever love. <laughs> so, you know. Ram Jam said it best in a song. Black oh, yeah. Betty. Big time. Yeah. I think they wrote that about her, actually. Might have been. Know. If I had to guess. So you keeping things uh, under control in Saluda? Trying to. You know, it's, it's kind of hard to do that. Yeah? Yeah, Saluda's not the easiest place to live it's sometimes. It's wide open. In All the time. All the time. <laughs> well, I heard, I heard some uh, various music tonight. Uh, a lot of the tracks you played were like from the first albums you did 30 years ago. One was from the first one. I played one off like 
five, six different ones. Yeah. Hit one like off each album. Mm-hmm. Or half of them. Oh, you can get your music online, right? There's Spotify. Take all your that pick, stuff. any yeah. of them. Google, all those. Apple, Spotify. Yeah. Uh, Amazon, it's everywhere. Uh, Jake, uh, your your group, yep. JakeBartleyBand.com, or what is that? Yep, yep. We're on uh, we're on Spotify and uh, Apple Music, I think. Yeah, most places where music is streamed, you can find it. Got it. During the pandemic here, it's been rough on everybody. I gotta I gotta say, um, I, I I miss seeing the live entertainment, but thoroughly enjoyed being the one person in the audience listening to you tonight. And, Guys, I, I feel for you. I hope you can get back out and do what you do. But uh, I know that we had some great comments on the Hometown Hodges page tonight, and people appreciate you, and uh, they're, they're really into it, and this is well worth doing, I would say. So keep on doing these type shows. And what else can I say other than uh, we just enjoyed it. Thank you for being a part of the Hometown Hodges show. Carolina Originals as well. I'm going to be playing your music back on the radio and we'll do some drop-ins and do bits and pieces of the interview as well in between the songs. So I'll let you know when we get all that done. But we also are videotaping. So any shout outs you guys want to send out to anybody, go ahead. Hey mom, I love you. That's good. I always got to say hello to mom and um, fact of the matter is, gang, the music, well, it's it's a struggle now. I think we're going to start to hear it in the lyrics about the pandemic and, and things. Guys, what do you think? Are we going to be writing songs about these times? Uh, oh, yeah. You would think? Most Absolutely. Definitely. We just had a single come out about four months ago called Driving the Wedge, all about the environment right now. Yeah. And how big media and big government just divides us so much. It's, it's really a, you know, we have more in common than we realize. Yes. If we would just quietly listen to each other yeah, yeah, we do no doubt, one of the things right. i love about music and sports yeah. and all that kind of stuff it always transcends creed color and all those problems if we just listen so absolutely it's going to be you know i know for me writing in the band we write pretty close to the bone yeah and the, the closer the better so yeah. absolutely they're, they're coming one of them's already there and there'll be more of them i mm-hmm. imagine yeah. so we're kind of moving towards doing singles on all the streaming platforms rather than releasing albums anymore so we can get them playlisted so we're releasing a single about every six or seven weeks mm-hmm that's, yeah, that's good kind of idea. The way it, that's that's kind of the the norm of the future right now is is singles. It is. Yeah. Well, when you make an album, they'll only let you pull one song off an album for yep. consideration to playlist. That's like getting added to old days to heavier, moderate, medium rotation at a radio station. Right. So right. every track else, you don't you can't get but one in. Yeah. So what's the point of making out? Might as well just make you a just single. Just do single and you can get all of them playlists. Yep. But the walls are coming down with the record labels, I think. I mean, it's just crumbling down. But at the same time, uh, how do you get that mass appeal? Well, it, it is old-fashioned promotion. It's how you put it together, I believe. And and I know what you're saying about heavy rotation. and It's, it's heavy. Well, they don't pay us. Yeah. It's a different format. <laughs> I think, I think the power's in the hands of the people now, though. It and, is. And the power, you know, the power's in the hands of the musicians because you have... You have the world at your fingertips. So if you create something, you can put it on something, and the chances are that the world gets to hear it. I mean, not necessarily, but the chance is there. You bring up a good point, Jake, because also you got to think about radio. Our whole career, I couldn't write a song shorter than six minutes, as you can tell tonight. <laughs> so I successfully wrote us right off commercial rock radio. I've done that my whole career. But Spotify, Amazon, Google, all these streaming platforms, they don't care if it's 30 seconds or 18 minutes. You're yeah. going to get paid the same royalty. It may not be that great. Yeah. But they don't care about you fitting the form. I mean, they can line it up, and it doesn't matter how long or short it is. There's something really organic from a music fan standpoint that I love about those yeah. playlists and those platforms. They're not going away. We'll have to figure out a better way to navigate them, kind of t- change the strategy of how you use them. But for a music fan, man, yeah. I love those things. It's, I'm in there all the time. When I hit this playlist on Spotify, and I hear all kinds of new stuff. I'm like, wow. Yeah. You know, they kind of lump stuff together. and. If you're a music fan, there's something cool, cool about that. Yeah, and they, they, they associate this group with that group and, and kind of give you a playlist yeah, that you can make sure up do. yourself. And you get the chance to hear stuff you might have never, ever heard. That's right. You know? And as a former music director, I used to turn in those reports to magazines all over the United States and watch it move up the charts and follow the songs. And, and, it's, and even, it's even better because, like you said, the fans can make their own playlists, and then yep. they start sharing it within that hub. 
You know, in old days, we had to put it on a cassette tape, trade it around. Or whatever. <laughs> you got that. Y'all remember no, the, they do it all digitally now, yeah. and they can spread your music you all You remember over. sitting there by the radio, getting ready to hit record and play at the same <laughs> oh, time? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh, 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 there you go. Make that's, you a mixtape. That's it, man. Yeah. <laughs> your mixtape was good if you couldn't hear the DJ talking. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I cut him right out. So we'll have to keep scrapping for a little bit better royalty. It's, yeah. not, it's not great, but... I think it's on the way, though. It, you know, you're, uh, you're also fishing in a pond with 2 billion subscribers worldwide. You can Get, you catch lightning in a bottle on one of those platforms, and you're on your way. Yep. You, yeah, and, and it can take off fast. It can. Yep. And with that said, that's just about going to wrap it up for Carolina Originals. You know what? We we do play the originals. We do play these guys on the air in uh, North and South Carolina. And I appreciate your time, guys. I know it's getting late at night. We're going to clock out for now on Carolina Originals. And you can watch their video, by the way, on Hometown Hodges on Facebook page. Anytime you want. Go back and play it back and check it out. Order their music. As one guy said in a song, buy my music while I'm alive. <laughs> Take care, folks. Till the next time.